Hey, welcome back to Pop Dust Presents Part 2. Uh, shout out to our sponsors real quick, Roar Organics. <laughs> is a very special one. We've got Paul McDonald in the building. He's got a brand new album called Modern Hearts. Yes, indeed. And he's got a show tonight, like in like an hour <laughs> or two, and he's still hanging out with us. How's it going, man? It's going well. You know, uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, we came in from Boston last night and uh, had some van troubles. Uh, so some it's van troubles. The fact that uh, yeah, we're, we're cruising in a 12-passenger van at the moment for this tour, kind of doing small rock clubs. We're doing uh, Mercury Lounge tonight, and uh, yeah, the, I think the transmission might have blown out. So uh, Atlanta, Georgia, tomorrow night we might not make it. You know, <laughs> it, that's, I know it's a bummer, man. Yeah, it's a bummer, but uh, that's the that's happens, the touring, yeah, that's the touring happens, stuff. Yeah. But yeah. thank you for for being here. And yeah, I saw on the gram it looked like you did pretty well last night in Boston. Oh, Boston was great. Yeah, it was a fun show. A lot of a lot of folks came out and. Uh, we're fans of this new record that uh, it's it's brand new it just came out in june so uh yeah it was exciting fun yeah. awesome you're just tuning in that was paul mcdonald with his new song it's a song called new lovers and it's yeah. about getting stoned which Hi. we can all relate with <laughs> when you're driving around in a van with your friends solving <laughs> mysteries yeah, that, you is, know? that is true, yeah. That occasionally, there is some stonage going on in uh, van solving and, mysteries. Yeah. Yep, and then your van breaks down, <laughs> and you're like, you know, the like is the links. we got to go to the spooky pop dust interview. You know? Um, yeah, man. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us about that, that song. Uh, that song came, uh, came out of a place. Um, I was moving back from, uh, from Los Angeles. I had just gone through a pretty heavy-duty breakup, and I... Uh, um, okay. I met a girl who was coming out of one, and um, it was just kind of the idea of, of falling in love again, you know, that new love feeling that you get, um, I feel uh, it's very hard to recreate, and when you find it with someone that, you know, can spark it back, it's, uh, it's worthy of the song, you know. That's beautiful. And do you, do, does she have some friends that I could meet, or? Yeah, she's got plenty of friends. Yeah, she's in Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I, I mean, I'm not friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's got plenty of friends. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. because I want, I want that, that, that new love. I'd like, I'd try that out. I bet you there's plenty of girls here in New York City. You I, know I, what? I, would think, I know, you know, but they're, they're always like, oh, stop touching me. I'm on the subway, <laughs> and like, <laughs> oh man, that's. Well, a... <laughs> and, I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, you know what I mean? I, I, you're, 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 yeah, you're, you're a musician, correct? I, I, I am, yeah. I am. I've been known to play play the music. Yeah, very cool. But you know what, I don't have, my lyrics are all, um, I just go on Wikipedia and just, just sing parts of random biographies. I don't yeah, have, I don't, I don't base them on, on experiences yeah. like that. But that's great. Yeah. And like, so what are, what, what are some of your influences? Because you have like a very, very strong sound, like you know. Uh, you know, um, I, I'm a I'm a fan of uh, of, of real artists. You know, um, I, I was raised on uh, classic rock and roll stuff and songwriters. Uh, you know, uh, Joni Mitchell, James Taylor. Uh, you know, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Clapton, Hendrix, Zeppelin, those kind of guys. So that's like what my parents raised me on. So that was always just kind of in my blood growing up and then like as I got to middle school I, uh, the first record I bought was like Green Day Dookie and Oasis then I got into yes. Nirvana and Grunge and then I moved over into like uh, high, later in high school kind of more of a jam thing where I, I discovered like jammy music with like the dead and uh uh, fish and, and those kind of genres and then I jumped from there to more of Americana I discovered like Sunbolt and Wilco and uh, I'm just kind of always looking for like um, and then I discovered Ryan Adams Ryan Adams is a brilliant singer-songwriter uh, uh, yeah I'm just I thought you like, hashtag you know, like uh, Everly Brothers recently Ever, right? Ever, Everly Brothers are great yeah. so yeah I love the Everly Brothers I'm good friends with uh, with Patty who, who's Phil's widow Phil's one of the, was, was one of the Everly Brothers uh, so yeah, I've become good friends with her, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, that's that's way cool. brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. yeah, and actually, Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day did the the album. He did. Yeah, yeah. with the uh, covers, really yeah. cool. And he played it, I guess, at like the Grammys or something like that. There was a red a red guitar that was like this with a double pickguard, 
uh, and Patty, Phil, Phil Swiddo has yeah. the guitar, and I played it, played it one night. She let me play that guitar. It's the same one Billy, Billy Joe gave it to her after the after the show. That's so cool. Uh, she was like, "I want you to play this," and I was like, "Whoa!" You know. That's uh, so cool. But uh, yeah, that's that's, that's awesome. Cool. And what about Modern Hearts? What what can people expect from that? Because you've you've had a bunch of different music throughout the years. Yeah, I've had a bunch. You know, I've been in different bands over the years. You know, um, and that's kind of uh, been figuring out a way to kind of discover my own, myself as a solo artist, you know. Uh, like you said, you've been in bands, you know, when you have other musicians kind of around hanging out with you, uh, it's a little bit easier to find a sound because they're all artists in their own right, and the guitar player is going to kind of create a sonic space that lives in his world, the bass player has his yeah. own. Uh, so I kind of come out with a song on acoustic guitar and say, hey, or a piano kind of thing, and say, i got this idea, and then we kind of form it. but. When you're doing a record by yourself, you know, you have all the options. You can yeah. put a, uh, for the same melody, you can put on a synthesizer or a dobro, and then it changes genres and this and that. Yeah. And uh, so you just kind of have to find something that feels the coziest to you. And it's taken me about a decade to kind of find out uh, the music that, that makes the most sense to me and feels like me. Uh, and not, not worried about the outcome of it or the success as so much the success is in the process and uh, making the record and, and that's what I'm And that's one of the challenges too is when it's just so open-ended, you know what I mean? Like oh, you're man, like, yeah, music's crazy, it's really. me yeah, and yeah. I can have whatever instruments, sounds, whatever, yeah, and you yeah, can get, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, have to it know can take exactly a lot of... You wanna go. Yeah, and also when there's options and stuff, when I was living in LA, uh, I was very lucky, you know, to be working with some brilliant uh, high-end pop producers that have worked on giant records uh, and, and that gave me, um, just uh, it made me grow so much because normally if I was kind of paving my way with my old bands I would have never had a chance to work with those yeah. guys but I was like well I might as well jump into this uh, dive in because you never know when I'll get a chance to do it again uh, and it turned out going like alright cool that that works but it does, still doesn't feel like me and I kind of did a circle all the way back around to make the music the same music that I the reason why I picked up a guitar when I was you know in middle school you know uh, and I just had to circle around and kind of get perspective on all the things to go like, man, I just want to make a record for me this time around. Yeah. And I don't care what people think about it, you know. Well, people seem to be loving it. I saw, uh, what was it, Billboard get, did a write-up on your, your yeah. music video, <laughs> yeah. which is like a super yeah. trippy, awesome video, by the way. <laughs> and definitely, now that you yeah. mentioned Oasis, like, uh, there's some sort of... Like vibe yeah. there, like it was some like not a, even a, sonically, but like like visually. Yeah, visually. You know? Yeah, we wanted to go because because the record uh, kind of holds some weight lyrically, just with a uh, you know uh, my life personally. And so visually, I kind of wanted to go more on a, like Bowie Stones kind of yes. a psychedelic rock look, kind of a kind of a, just a fun a fun thing, you know. Uh, That's so cool. And it's also, yeah, the art of a video, man. I wanted to, like, to kind of bring back the idea and separate the song from the video and make the video. It's another excuse to make more art. You know? Yeah. Uh, so that's why I did it like that. I'm yeah. always looking for excuses. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm yeah. full of them. Um, and, and are you playing with? Are you playing with? A, are you playing with a full band? Uh, uh, tonight, tonight? No. tonight, I'm just doing that. <laughs> Dude, this is, is you guys catching this over here? This is some good commentary. She can't hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tonight I'm just doing a, a solo acoustic thing. So like I was telling you earlier, I'm doing. I'm out on the road from now until uh, the end of November. We just uh, we just released a, another tour. Where I'll be going out and supporting my girlfriend, which will be real fun, until the end of November. But yeah, I'm doing mostly support stuff, uh, which means I'm out playing acoustic guitar and singing these songs stripped down, kind of in the, like the most raw. Uh, pure form, which has been real fun, you know, uh, and something different for me because normally I tour with a band, you know. Yeah. yeah, well, if you're in the New York area, uh, you can head to Mercury Lounge. Head to Mercury Lounge. You've got yeah. like an hour or two and you can get there. And yeah. also, if you have any uh, spare van parts or like Yeah, a, I think we need like a new uh, transmission on this one. Yeah. So yeah, uh, pr I mean, pr that means pretty much a, a brand new van. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> If you're if you're somebody who's in New York City and you've got a spare van, yeah. there's, there's pass it a, over to us. There's a rock star that needs it, so give it. It's a good cause. It's a great cause. Yeah. Uh, do you have another song for us? Perhaps? Yeah, sure. I can do another tune. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me tune this thing up. Uh, this next song is uh, another one from that same chapter of life. Uh, 
that was uh, that I wrote um, kind of I just fallen out of something I met a girl who just fallen out of something too and uh, so we we're trying to kind of bridge the gap and the idea behind it is uh, uh, the person uh, anyone you meet in between uh, serious relationships I, I've come to to realize that they're equally as important as the uh, the beginning and end because they get you to the next thing and you know you learn something always so uh, uh, it's pretty much a glorified hookup tune with some poetry in between, so maybe they can really kind of... So it's about uh, getting a late night fix. Yeah, 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 that was what the idea was, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I, I actually, I've, I'm, I'm glad we're recording this because I'm gonna use some of those lyrics for Tinder later. Oh, man. And then, <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> I told you, I'm big on the plagiarism Ladies, and please, stuff. man, hit this guy up. He needs some. Yeah, he needs some. He needs it's some. Like, Come on now. Come it's on. the self-esteem. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a hole in me, okay? Uh, <laughs> and, you know, to quote a song I once wrote, uh, and, <laughs> and I know you've got one too. Uh, so, uh, you're not sure if you're going to make it to Atlanta tomorrow. Uh, I think we actually canceled the gig. Yeah, we canceled the gig. So we're playing Atlanta on Monday night. And then, uh, so tomorrow we'll have a free day in New York. So if you guys free are in day. New York, we'll be hanging around. Uh, I'm, not I, yeah. sure, I'm not sure where we're, where, where we're staying tonight, but uh, I know we're, we're going to be somewhere in the city. You know? Ah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, yeah, probably in the van. I, I, sleep, I sleep on that very couch, actually. This, so this if you, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's, you know? there's room for, for two, you know? <laughs> Uh, uh, what's uh, happening here? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, you know. But, uh, but that, hey, that's cool. Free day tomorrow yeah, well, in yeah, New York City. Day. I was going to yeah. come to work, but you know what? Screw yeah. it. Screw yeah. it. We'll yeah. just go yeah, hang we'll out. Party, yeah, you, you know? know? Uh, we'll go get cupcakes or uh, other activities. There's all kinds of stuff to do here. Var in the city, various yeah. activities. Yeah. Yeah, sure. um, so, what else should people know then? You're actually, wait, I was going to ask because. Uh, Atlanta had me thinking, South, you are from the South, from Alabama, correct? I am from, from Alabama. And you're currently based in Nashville? Based or, in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. But for a while it was LA. It was, uh, for a while it was in LA, yeah. So many years ago I moved out to LA uh, to do uh, some TV stuff with music and uh, ended up meeting a girl and moving out there with that and we started a band together. The band broke up so I moved back home to Nashville. and. And wrote this record, yeah. So that's that's the cliff notes of it. But yeah, uh, I go back out there now a whole lot. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend at the moment lives out west, so I'm out there a whole lot. I'm about to go. I'm about to tour with her too. So yeah, we'll be seeing a whole lot of each other. Yeah. Well, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for for joining us tonight, man. Yeah, this is yeah. awesome. Uh, everybody out there should definitely check out the album Modern Hearts. Modern Hearts. And I meant to ask you about the name actually. Modern Hearts came from a, from a song I wrote uh, during that time period after all that stuff went down and um, uh, the idea behind the song was kind of, uh, at that moment in time I, I was uh, seeing a lot of, when you break up with someone now, you have access to everything, you know, with your phone and uh, you can kind of see everything. Uh, if you want to, you can you can find you know your high school girlfriend and see what she's up to or you can do whatever, man, you have access to people's lives, or at least the highlights of their lives, and uh, and the whole idea behind that is kind of tricky. And uh, and I got to write in this song, and uh, at that moment, a whole lot of uh, my ex-girl stuff was popping up in my world without me trying to even uh, be a part of it, you know. And, uh, and I, I bumped into a guy at West, and he was like, "Man, my girlfriend just, you know, uh, we just split up, and I was seeing all this stuff on, you know, the internet, how she was handling it, and all this stuff." And um, we wrote a song about it, uh, and the song we, uh, we wrote called Modern Hearts was something that I had written. I've written a handful of songs that year, of, of about a hundred, uh, I mean, a lot. Uh, and I threw that song away, uh, and he said, hey, can I pitch it to a few other artists? And I said, yeah, of course, yeah, feel free. It's, I don't think it's for me. Uh, so we sent it away, and then a few, few months later, uh, he gave me a call and said, um, Rihanna uh, heard the song. She wants to put it on hold for her record, and I said, "Which one? Which one?" Uh, and I kind of he sent it back over, and I was like, "Oh man, wow, that song is better than I remember it was when we wrote it." You know? Yeah. Uh, and then from there on, we kind of tried to pitch that song to a lot of people, uh, and it ended up just always falling, falling off. And uh, I thought that was kind of the universe saying, "Maybe this story is about me, and it is, it is about me. So maybe I should be the vocal uh, singing." singing the song so uh, 
I put it on the record. And then after after we recorded the album, uh, we recorded it up in Asheville, North Carolina, in this cool studio up in the mountains with, with a bunch of A-list players, uh, kind of really cool uh, musicians, brilliant musicians. And uh, we all sat down and kind of shared some whiskey and uh, just listened to kind of the the days we had spent recording the record. And we kind of all came to consensus that Modern Hearts was was the base around the record. So the song that I tried to give away many years ago kind of circled back and is now like the uh, yeah wow the main thing for this record. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know. Well, for your uh, your last question of the night, we actually have the Pop Dust Magic Box. Oh, let's see. I can't wait. This <laughs> is going to be um, amazing. <laughs> th there, there's questions inside right. um, submitted by people from around the world. Wow. And all right. I actually think it was an intern just wrote a, wrote up with questions. But, all right. All right. Um, <laughs> and then, but but uh, if you dare. All right. Let's go in on this. Oh man, I'm nervous. What these are gonna. It's gonna happen. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be honest. Oh man, what was my favorite childhood TV show? There was a lot of them. Uh, I'd have to say, is this a cartoon or like a or actual TV show? I think, I think cartoon counts. I'd say, I'd say Scooby Doo if it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it was cartoon. Yeah, yes. I was always into Scooby Doo for some reason. I like the and ghost. And now, now you're, you're, you're solving mysteries in vans. Yeah, now, stuff. now I am Scooby. Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. that is awesome. But yeah. everything yeah. comes full circle. Full and, circle uh, now, yeah. And uh, thank you so much. I know you got a gig to get to. Absolutely. Um, and I'm sure you'll get. Roaring applause. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Shout out to our sponsors, Roar Organics. Thank you. And <laughs> Paul McDonald, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you thank so you much guys. for dropping by. Yeah, man. Thank Thanks you. for having me so much. Really yeah, cool. Yeah, Pop Dust, y'all the jam. Peace and love. Internet world. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you.